Imagine you are in a dark cave, bound and unable to move. The only thing you can see in front of you are shadows created by a faint fire behind you, while behind the fire, some people carry objects, casting their shapes on the wall. Your entire reality consists of these shadows. Have you ever wondered if there is something more, something beyond these fleeting images? This scene is not merely a fantasy. It is an allegory, an image of the truth that, although hidden, awaits those who are ready to seek it. Since ancient times, allegory has served as a tool to reveal not what we see, but what lies behind the surface. Using images and symbols, the philosophers of antiquity guide us beyond the limits of the tangible world, to a level of understanding where each shadow can reveal a new way of thinking. The allegory of the cave, as we just described it, represents the soul's journey toward true knowledge. The shadows are simple ideas, everyday perceptions that are not enough to understand the true nature of the world. Allegory, then, helps us see that the things surrounding us, those we take for granted, might just be shadows of true essence. Allegory is a deep and powerful medium, as it doesn't simply offer knowledge, it requires searching and understanding beyond the apparent. Instead of providing answers, it provokes questions and invites us to engage in an inner and spiritual quest. When we look at the world, what do we really see? Its essence or merely its appearance? Allegory reminds us that to understand the real world, we must break our chains and turn towards the light, just like the prisoner in the cave who finally discovers the truth of the world outside it. Let's take the myths of antiquity and see what truly lies behind them. Myths are not merely stories. They are encrypted messages, full of symbols and meanings that we can only approach through allegory. Without this approach, we risk staying on the surface, seeing only the adventures of gods and heroes, missing the deep knowledge they contain. Take, for instance, Homer's Odyssey. Odysseus's journey back to Ithaca is not just an adventure or a quest filled with obstacles and wonders. It is an allegory of the human soul seeking a return to its true self, to its own Ithaca. The monsters he encounters, the temptations that lead him astray, the gods who guide and obstruct him, all are symbols of the internal and external challenges we face on our path to true knowledge and inner peace. Or, consider the presence of gods in the myths. Gods are not merely powerful beings deciding human fates. Each god represents forces and concepts of the world and the soul. For example, Athena symbolizes wisdom and strategic thinking, while Ares embodies anger and conflict. When the ancients wrote about the gods, they did not describe literal events but used allegory to depict the contrasts, the balances, and the powers that exist within us and in the cosmos. When one approaches a myth without understanding its allegory, they risk drawing false conclusions. For example, one might think the ancients believed in imaginary monsters or that the gods were merely capricious entities punishing humans. Without allegorical understanding, the deep wisdom of the myths remains hidden, and what we perceive is merely a superficial narrative. Allegory, then, is the key. It enables us to see myths not as simple stories, but as lessons on human nature and the universe. It is a way to understand cosmic order, ourselves, and our relationship with divine forces, without being trapped in literal interpretations. Thus, allegory reveals the true essence of myths, an essence hidden behind form, waiting to be discovered.